um, whether it's been leading global drug development teams, championing Girl Scouts with three million members in the USA, or helping foundation boards revitalize their mission and purpose. A common theme in my life has been to enable individuals to re realize more of their potential in service to the greater good. Similarly, my husband, Bill, who unfortunately couldn't be here today, has devoted himself to helping communities realize more of their potential, to become stronger, more engaged, more beautiful, and more vibrant. Over the past two years, these twin themes of personal fulfillment and collective fulfillment have been channeled into a new partnership with the GSB that's resulted in a new initiative called Beacon. Beacon is named after those touchstones, those guideposts, those core values that all of us try to steer our lives by, whether it's being a better partner, a better parent, the best you can be, or helping to improve the quality of life so, for so many more people, as so many of you exemplify. Developed by a small team, a very talented and committed team, drawn from GSB staff and staff of the School of Design, the Beacon program focuses on GSB alumni who have completed, who have achieved the, the goals of their primary career and are now interested in using their time, energy, affluence, and influence to pursue paths of greater meaning and lasting impact. In fact, research tells us that favored with good education and good health, all of us have 20 to 30 more years of active, productive living beyond the traditional retirement age. So we each have this marvelous opportunity, if not the moral imperative, to invest this bonus of longevity wisely and well. As we heard from alumni and other experts, moving from a well-known, well-honed business career into unknown frontiers, as, as we've heard from so many people here, can be a pretty scary experience. It tends to be a very isolated experience where you feel like you're, you're uh, trying to do this alone. And um, it can be very disorienting because you're moving into an identity that is not as familiar as the one that you've been living with. So it's hard to know where to start and it's hard to know who to trust. One potential solution is to reconnect and recharge with the incredible resources and the vast network within Stanford. And as Dean Soliner tells us, if we came here as MBAs to experience our first major personal transformation, why wouldn't we come back as alumni to experience that next self-directed transformation? So in June, we piloted our first four-day workshop and um, it, we drew uh, heavily from the current MBA curriculum on leadership and self-knowledge, on personal happiness and designing your own personal brand, as well as had a talented team from the design school um, introduce our participants to design thinking and how design thinking can allow you to creatively redesign the life that you wish to lead. So success from that can be measured in a lot of different ways. One of the ways the success can be measured is we've now moved from the pilot stage and we'll be offering this program within the umbrella of alumni relations. Um, there's information on the program um, on the website. We haven't nailed down the, the date of the next workshop, but that's one measure of success. Um, another measure is the, are the evaluations that we received from the people who participated. But I have to say the most compelling measure of success for us has been the light in people's eyes, the energy with which people um, walk, the warmth of the hugs that the participants shared, and the renewed hope and energy to pursue a new direction. So um, for Bill and me, 
Beacon is more than a program. We hope to see it as more of a movement, as more of a way of life. And we look to all of you to provide inspiration and input for future generations. Thank you.